Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I've missed you so much. The last week has been quite interesting. It started out well and then uh, something crazy happened and then exciting things happened and so far this week it's ending on a really, really good note. So, so far I'm very happy. I'm very grateful for everything that has happened. You know what? I've realized everything happens for a reason and you always leave learning something, whether it's a good or a bad experience. Today, on the other hand, is a very, very good experience. <laughs> Today we are having a seafood boil. It is a brand new place. Let me look up the name. I found it today. Oh, you guys, look at my new phone case. I'm literally obsessed. I got this on Amazon for, I think it was, $10. I will try to find it and link it down below. It is so cute. I also got this other one and it's like the Pringles, uh, is it called Pringles? The Pringles chips. Uh, today we ordered from this place called, drum roll please, my phone is loading. It's called Crab Bites. It's on Ball Road and I think, is it Garden Grove? I don't know, but it's in Orange County. It doesn't say on here, but it's called Crab Bite, and the reason I order is because they had five stars, and I was like, you know me, I get very skeptical, because I'm like, are you really five stars? So we have a pound of king crab legs, a pound of snow crab legs, a pound of crawfish, a pound of shrimp, sausage, uh, rice, and cucumbers, and then to dip, my favorite sauce in the whole entire world, you guys know I've been obsessed with this for the last week or so, this is called Jump. Jam means uh, dip in Vietnamese, and it's so good. I have this link down below. There's also a discount code. I get absolutely nothing from it. It is completely for you guys, which I personally asked for you guys. So, Also on the right here, I just wanted to let you guys know this container is so big. It is the coldest water. I drink my water out of this every day, all day. It is so cold. It keeps my water really cold, or I can keep it really hot as well, depending on what you guys put in there. Um, this is really big. This is 128 ounces. They just came out with a 64 ounce, and it's like this, but small smaller and it's so cute. The first link is for the giveaway so make sure you guys enter the giveaway down there below and then the second link you can purchase one and there's a 10% off discount code there. So anyways, bon appetitis. Let's get started. We always do sausage, rice, and cucumber. Oh, they cut the sausages big. Ooh. Mmm. It's kind of sweet. Mm. It's so good. The flavoring is really interesting. It's kind of sweet, kind of salty. I feel like this place definitely has like um like an Asian fusion. A little bit of the sauce. Just a little bit. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go on with the crawfish. Oh, come on. Don't break on me, please. No, no, that's not good. Oh my gosh. Wow. First crawfish and it's completely a fail. Let's try again. Mm. I believe on the website it said that it's live crawfish. Oh my gosh, you guys. Why are these so hard to peel? The sauce makes everything better in life. Everything. You have the shrimp. They do put a lot of garlic. Mmm. Ooh. 
The sauce is good. It definitely is in the traditional Louisiana. Like if you guys are um, like the, the Louisiana seafood sauce. If you guys are um, familiar with kicking crab or boiling crab, it doesn't taste like that. This is more of an Asian fusion. So it's definitely a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh my god. I like the shrimp today. I like the little bit of a kick. I got mild by the way. There's a nice kick to it. That's really nice. For some reason, the crawfish is hard to peel. I feel like they're like stuck to the shell. No problem. Oh my god. These snow crab are crazy big and thick. These are crazy thick. Wow. So this place, the price is a little bit more expensive than Kick and Crab, and I kind of get why. Because the size of the seafood is huge. Oh my gosh. This is about to be the best bite ever. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Come on. Ooh, all those eggs. crawfish faster than this. I don't know. I'm telling you. The shell is like super hard. <laughs> you guys have seen me eat crawfish before. I don't know why I'm struggling today. I do notice that the, the shell is way harder than the other places that I'm used to. But there's so much meat. Mmm. So, 
If you guys didn't know, Carlos and I experienced our first crazy thing together, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what to eat now. Ooh, oh, look at the king crab legs. Oh my gosh. Our dog, so we have four dogs. I don't know if you guys know that. I think a lot of you do, but. They're our world and we love them dearly. Um, our oldest one is named Rocky and we rescued him one year ago. This Thursday will be one year. And when we rescued him, we had the intention of rescuing an older dog because our first two are a little bit younger and we wanted to rescue an older dog because sometimes, well, a lot of the time, senior dogs don't get rescued from shelters and we wanted to give a senior dog like the best few years left of their life, basically. So we fell in love with Rocky. It was like love at first sight. Um, it was absolutely amazing and we've had him for a year now and he's turning 10. We don't actually know his birthday. They said he was 9 or 10, so we're going with 9 and he's turning 10. It's kind of like, if you guys know, it's kind of the call the gotcha day, the day that we gotcha, kind of. So, long story short, Rocky had a seizure uh, a few days ago. I, I think it was the beginning of this week. Mm. It was on Wednesday. So, actually a week ago, um, we were all laying in bed. Long story short, we were all laying in bed and Rocky was sleeping peacefully. Nothing was wrong. Before that, we saw no signs. Like, there was absolutely nothing. Everything was just completely and perfectly normal and fine. We were sleeping. It was in the morning and Rocky had a seizure. And if you guys have ever seen a dog seizure before, I experienced it for the first time and it was also kind of Carlos's first time. Um, so it was really scary. We didn't know what to do. Uh, Carlos and I were crying. It was really, it was the whole morning was just really crazy. We rushed him to the emergency room and we've done every single test on them and the doctors have said that all the tests come back normal and to just keep an eye on him and we'll go from there. So I'll probably go into more of a story time in the future when Carlos is actually here with me. I believe he wants to film together tomorrow. Ugh. Yeah, I definitely wanted to tell you guys now because I know a lot of you were like, Kim, where are you? What's going on? I did post it on my community tab and also on Instagram, but I was MIA for that. But Rocky is better now. He's feeling much better. He actually went kind of back to normal the very next day. It's like, in a way, the, the vet was kind of like, hey, you know, he was like, if you guys weren't home, you would have never known that it happened. And I guess sometimes it's just normal for dogs to have seizures, but it was a very scary experience, especially if you, wow, thick, especially if you've never experienced it before. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. The king crab is very salty. But anywho, Jesus, I cannot multitask for life. Why are these things so hard? Mm. 
Okay. These, the tail just does not fall out the way that I want it to. And I'm very, very sad about it. I will do a story time with Carlos because I realize I feel like he should be here because it is, I feel like I'm going to get emotional if I talk about it. Rocky is just our oldest dog. We call him Old Man. That's his nickname. His nickname in the family. So everybody who sees him, they're like, Alrighty, you guys, so, um, long story short, as you guys saw, my lights, my filming lights, I guess the all the outlets in this room went out because none of my, um, camera chargers are on either, but the recessed lighting at the top, I guess, is not connected, so that's how I have lighting. So we are going to, uh, continue the video in this lighting, I do apologize, I feel like I cut myself because it's burning here, but, um, that's what happened. Oh, you guys, I'm so grateful that we live in this place. It's absolutely beautiful. But sometimes, sometimes uh, with new construction, um, especially I feel, especially I feel like when it's like a rental, like I feel like when you build a new home, um, if you have a really good, uh, if you have a really good builder that really takes good care of you, they're supposed to walk you through the home and then you have like the warranty and then you have all of this and that and they make sure that no matter what happens, you are taken care of. But with rentals, you know, no one's going to walk you through. So when we moved here, um, we had the goal of renting for this year, 2020, until the end of this year. And we moved here because Riley, of course, is one of our bigger dogs and we wanted more room and we were kind of ready for the upgrade and so this place is a new uh rental and i feel like everything was super rushed like ever since we moved in here different things i stopped working things like started popping up uh, our floors make sounds i don't know so oh my gosh i just can't believe this happened during a mukbang i feel like it's just like you know i'm still gonna eat whatever <laughs> we gonna try to eat as much as we can oh but what i was saying before this when before all of this went out that Rocky's our older dog we call him old man and it was just scary man I, I swear to you in that moment I thought I was losing our dog like literally I was like this is the moment I was in tears and I know a lot of people you know everyone's different but I feel like a lot of people or probably like Kim, it's just a dog. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not that person. Like I have four dogs. I love them. They are there for me emotionally. They are there for me physically. I, they're my kids. I love them. Like don't mess with them. They're my world. Um, so to me, it's not just a dog. They're family to me. And to lose family, like, yeah, it was it was scary. So the good news is he's okay now. Also, something else that's very exciting that happened. I wonder if you guys can guess down below. No, I am not pregnant. No, Carlos and I are not getting married yet. <laughs> something else very exciting happened. And I hate that I have to kind of like shut up about it for a little bit. But I wonder if you guys can guess down below. I kind of want to give you a clue. But at the same time, like if I give you a clue, I'm probably going to give it away. Dang, these are some daddy crawfish. So I wonder if you guys can guess down below what it is. It's something that Carlos and I have been wanting for a very long time. And it's happening and we're very excited to bring you guys on on the journey. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Enough. No more, Kim. No more. I can't believe my lights went out. At first, I thought my lights were, um, the light bulbs and my filming lights needed to be changed. And then Carlos came and checked, and it looks like it's the outlet. Ay, ay, ay. Can you guys believe that it's already the end of July? And it's about to be August, September, October, November, December, and the year's over. And I truly hope 2021 is going to be way better than what 2020 was.
crawfish here are so good. It's just hard to peel. Wonder if you guys will be able to guess down below what it is that I'm so excited to tell you. But I can't tell you quite yet. Hopefully soon. Mmm! The sauce is so good. Can you guys tell what a dramatic difference lighting makes? Sometimes I feel like I hear, oh, you know, it's probably my neighbor. Mm. So good. sauce is so bomb oh update on merch I'm very excited I believe I'm trying to launch my merch at the end of at the end of August or at the end of September probably around my birthday which is the beginning of October I'm, I hope you guys like it. Oh my god, I've been so nervous about it. And I feel like because I'm nervous, I'm like pushing it off. I'm very excited about it. Please don't tell me if you hate it. <laughs> but if you guys do buy it, thank you so much. And please do not feel the need to buy it. Trust me, if you have rent to play, pay and you have bills to pay or you have something that's more important, I would rather you take your money and do those things than buy my merch. But if you guys do choose to, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. I'm very excited about it. I'm just excited to share. I, I was really excited to create them. And I'm also just really excited to share something special with you guys. Something we both can wear. I don't know. Does that make sense? Um, the first two designs that are coming out are super simple. They're super simple. And the reason that I kept it so simple is because I wanted um, I wanted it to be versatile. I wanted people to be able to wear it and match it with anything in their closet. I never want you guys to buy something that you're never gonna wear or it's gonna be hanging in your closet. I wanted the colors to be wearable. I wanted the design to be wearable. I just wanted to make sure that you are gonna wear this till like you're 50 years old and it's gonna be worth all of your money. So. I'm very, very excited about it. And then eventually I do have other things that I'm working on and those will launch later on. <laughs> those would probably be my favorite. I'm trying to think, um, I'm trying to think of everything that people would like. So some people would maybe like cartoons or whatever, like a cartoon figure or something on their shirt. And some people just like basic lettering, something super simple that they can just pair with denim shorts or they can wear to the gym or they can just wear with leggings. Just let's be honest, most of the time I'm wearing leggings too. So I love things that I can just throw on and not have to think about. And I believe the sizes go up to 4XL. That was something that was very important to me when I was looking at companies to work with is that 
extra large plus sizes were very very necessary they were mandatory I wanted to work with a company that understood that everybody comes in different shapes and sizes I never want a subscriber to not be able to buy something because they don't have the size on the website so that was really important to me but I just wanted to let you guys know that the ball is rolling I'm so excited a lot of good things coming you guys and honestly I just I wouldn't be here without all of your support so I love you guys so much and I hope you know that you guys are truly like my friends this shrimp is uh, she is overcooked Oh my god, she's very overcooked, but it's okay. Oh. <laughs> mm. So overall, I would say this place is okay. I wouldn't give it five stars myself. I would probably give it, personally for me, I would give it a two out of five because for the reason that I feel as if when it comes to seafood boils, I tend to go for like kicking crab or boiling crab, places that have the authentic kind of Louisiana seafood sauce, the very dark colors, rich flavors, spices. Um, this one, I feel like if you guys have been watching me for the last two years, oh my god, oh my god, next month is August, that marks two years of this mukbang channel, we gotta do something wild. I will have to look back and see what day I started, and that day we have to do something wild to celebrate two years together, you guys. Anywho, what I was saying was, if you guys have been watching all of my seafood boils, I tend to not really like seafood boils that have like an Asian fusion to it, because sometimes when it comes to Asian fusion, they make it a little bit too sweet, and then they throw like a bunch of garlic in, which is probably this situation. But if you are someone who loves like an Asian twist to things, you guys will love this place. I think you guys will give it a 5 out of 5. The taste is really good. Is it bad? No, it's not bad at all. But for me, I think personal taste wise, I just prefer something more, a bunch of spices, really rich red color and flavoring, all that good stuff. So anywho, I feel like you guys should still try it out because everybody has their own different opinions. So at the end of the day, this might be something they just love. I feel like this mukbang was a little bit of a fail. I definitely got cut on my hand because it burns. I need to go figure out my outlet situation and my light situation because I cannot believe this is what happened to the video. I love you so much. I'm so sorry that this is how things worked out tonight, but we got to hang out, which was very exciting. Leave a comment down below. You know I love reading your comments. I go through them. I heart them. I love it. You guys are absolutely amazing. Keep me updated on what's going on in your life. Subscribe if you haven't already, you guys. And our family is growing. I love you guys all so much. If you're new, welcome. Welcome to the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow with brand new videos. We're doing double days again. I know you guys love the two videos a day. I'm very, very excited for them. I apologize that life happens. I don't think 2020 is for anybody. I think we're all either going through something or we are learning something about our lives, things that we value. So <laughs> I think 2020 has been very, very eventful, but exciting things to come. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. I love you so much. Have a great rest of your night, day, whatever you guys are doing right now. I will see you guys back here tomorrow. So make sure you guys come back here and uh, we'll hang out then. Bye.